Hey guys and welcome back to another video and here we are with the Raspberry Pi 4 and today to close the chapter in terms of multimedia playback how it performs. Now I must say that I did my tests as I always do on any multimedia device any Android TV box and similar and all my multimedia is stored on a network attached storage solution NAS and nothing plays directly here. I did test it as well it performs very well but I always want to test the network performance of these devices and that's what I did. Now starting with the Kodi uh, interface I haven't any issue at all everything was very fluid very fast so no issues right over here once we start to play our multimedia everything that I've got or most the movies that I've got are on 1080 Blu-ray MKV file with a high bitrate and what I can say is that it passed all the files that I tested without any issues at all. As you can see by some images it plays very smooth video playback even when we fast forward or rewind the machine is very responsive the network is here of course I do have a gigabit network available this device also has a gigabit interface so everything was very very smooth. Now moving along and complicated things a little bit just for those that are a little bit more curious I also played 10-bit uh, H.265 4K files and I'm talking about two samples dive into the new world and Iceland and what I can say is that in terms of fast forward and rewind we will see a little bit of a delay we are talking about milliseconds right over there nothing huge but I have to say that I did saw that a few milliseconds right over there only when we fast forward or rewind because when we are playing the movie we can play it without any issues at all so if you are using the movie normally like everyone does then you'll be more than fine. I also tested H.265 4K with a 8-bit codec and in this particular case was Sintel and it also passed the test. Now one thing that it didn't pass and this is usual was the Big Bug Bunny test 60 frames per second 4K 8-bit H.264 and we had a lot of drop frames and the slow playback as you guys can see by the image it was not pleasant but don't worry because this is a normal test it's very rare the box that passed this and I believe that the last one that passed was the Nvidia Shield that played all the samples without any issues now one thing that I was a little bit on the downside was that the 30 frames per second which usually boxes that have the AM logic as 905 and superior which is lower in performance than the Raspberry Pi 4 usually pass and the Raspberry Pi 4 here did not pass the sample 4k 8 bits at 30 frames per second big Bug bunny sample and in my opinion what happens here is that it's nothing with the hardware it's only on the software on the firmware side and I believe that it will be fixed and in no time it will be able to play that kind of files which is rare to find on any multimedia library but from time to time we will have the chance to have. Now I did play one last time Kodi this time in 1080 and it played just fine with no issues at all very fluid the 1080 8-bit H.264 sample. So in conclusion guys what I can say is that if you are looking for a machine like the Raspberry Pi to be your multimedia friendly box then you will be able to do so although in my opinion I do believe that this machine to be only a Kodi box it's a little bit of a waste but we have a really nice solution which is to have an extra micro SD card and if we have Libre Elec with Kodi and one micro SD card then if we want to use it as a media center we can use it or as a multimedia playback device we can use it and then if we want to complicate things and use it in any other way then we can just swap the micro SD card put it in the other operating system that we choose and we have a complete different machine doing something different and this is one of the beauty of this machine that we can just swap very easy the operating system that we want to use basically this is it hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one